it is finished. Tetelestai is the Greek word used in this text that is translated to, it is finished. Imagine being given an assignment, being told where to go, what time to arrive, and how long to stay. We may go along with the assignment for the experience, just to be able to say we visited new places and met exotic people, explored new lands, as long as it came with the round trip ticket. Imagine being told that your assignment would in fact cost you something. Would you still go? What if you were told that people would mock you, refuse to provide accommodations in some places, and attempt to smear your name? But you would be able to perform miracles and see lives transformed. Would you still accept the assignment? I may have lost a few people right then, because some might think that the reward exceeds the risk, but not everyone. Now what if the assignment required you to sacrifice your very life? Would you go? Jesus did. The firstborn of all creation who was seated in heavenly places felt such compassion and had so much love for this dying world that he accepted the assignment to enter this world, not shrouded in divinity with angels playing harps as he walked, but as an infant who grew into a man. A man who experienced hunger, thirst, and even temptation. A man who celebrated life, wept over the loss of life, and by his command resurrected life. He lived every day fully aware that he was to bear the weight of the sins of those who loved him and the ones who rejected him. He had the specifications of God's reconciliation plan, but he also had the liberty to abort the mission at any time. Yet he continued on his assignment, knowing that it would demand his life. And not in the form of a prison sentence or servitude, but by crucifixion on a cross. As his blood-stained body hung between two thieves, nails in his hands and feet, and a crown of thorns on his head, he recounted the stipulations of the assignment. Fulfill the prophecy, check. Atone for the sins of all, check. Provide a path to salvation, check. He realized that his assignment was in fact complete. He had accomplished his mission and fulfilled God's divine plan. It was finished, and now our lives have